first book of the Rangers Apprentice series. Um, it's called The Ruins of Gorlon. And what is so awesome about this series is that it is a long epic and it goes from book one to book ten. And um, the books are short, but what's, what's awesome about this series is that you grow to love the characters and you, it, you get immersed into the story because they're, the plot is compelling and, the, and there's subplots, which are my favorite. <laughs> um, and um, it's, an, it's, an, like, it's an epic. There are adventures, there are um, ogres, <laughs> there, it, um, there, it's, the, it's the battle uh, between good and evil. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm doing a book review of Wizard's First Rule by Kerry Goodkind. Um, basically, it's your classic epic. Hero meets heroine and they go off on some long adventure to fight some bad guy. At face value, that's all it is. Um, but what's really great about this book is you know the basic storyline. You know what's going to happen. But it still enthralls you. you I basically obsessed over this book for weeks as I read it. I would not put it down. I still vividly remember the day I first picked it up. It was years ago, but I, I don't know. I fell in love with it. It's still one of my favorite books and one of my favorite book series. That's, this isn't just a standalone book. There are other books, a great amount of books, too. My name is Selma, and I'm doing a one-minute book review on The Shining by Stephen King. Um, I read this book a while ago, and as soon as I started reading it, it just it scared me, and it was... I never would have thought a book would scare you, because, I mean, you're just reading. But it had a lot of, like, foreshadowing and, like, bits of mysteries that just kept you wanting to know what's going on, and, uh, like, what's going to happen next. And the characters, they were all really unique in their own way, and they did some questionable things. And it just, the whole time they were in like a hotel, and you never, I don't know what I was going to say. But they were in a hotel, and a lot of like bits of foreshadowing were being dropped here and there, and you wouldn't expect it to happen. And um, there is a movie for it actually, and the movie had like a different ending than the book. So I thought the movie was actually quite terrible. Hi, I'm Monica and I'm doing a one minute book review of The Thief Lord. And what I love about this book is the setting. It is set in beautiful Venice. And the setting really plays into the story because all the time they have to travel on boats because Venice doesn't have roads, it uses waterways as its roads. Which is really cool because they all get to ride on gondolas all the time and in little speed boats. Everybody just gets to do whatever they want because it's said about kids who don't really have parents and they just follow this guy, the thief lord, around. And they pretty much just get to enjoy themselves the entire time in this beautiful city. And they don't really have to do anything. They just get to goof off the whole day and play and there's no rules for anyone. And it really goes into the Venice history and all of the magical things that happen there and like... It's really cool to see some of the, how like serious things in the past seem to come into play in the future and how they actually take a serious book and kind of add some magic and twists into it and all that different stuff. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm doing a one minute book review of Les Miserables, which literally translates into The Miserables. Uh, it's set in post-revolution France and is the story of an ex-convict named Jean Valjean who is released from prison on parole, but he escapes from parole and builds up a life of his own and becomes mayor of a city where he meets Fontaine, a woman who had a child but wasn't married and she is working to the bone to support this child and she ends up working herself to death. And so Jean Valjean ends up taking the child and raising her as his own. 
And I think it's amazing that he would be willing to do that. And the whole time he's running from a cop that has been trying to catch him for many years. And I think it's just an amazing love story. One of the best ever.